The following program is presented by Chick-fil-A South Florida and Bright Star Credit Union. FAU High takes on Atlantic High tonight on School Duel. and welcome to the 10th anniversary season of School Duel, where the top 20 high schools in South Florida battle it out. Now the ultimate winners of this academic tournament walk away with a school trophy from Edco and a $1,000 check courtesy of Bright Star Credit Union and South Florida Chick-fil-A. Now with that much at stake, let's go ahead and take a quick peek at the brackets for this week's game. Now as you see, this second round game features Florida Atlantic University High versus Atlantic High School and what is going to be quite a showdown. The winner between the two schools will be moving on to the quarterfinals. So let's hear it for our two competitors. Yes, and one more thing before the battle begins, the student with the most correct answers throughout the show will win the South Florida Chick-fil-A Challenge and receive free chicken sandwiches for an entire year. Let's get started. Our opening round is called First Strike. In this round, it's school versus school, and each question is worth 10 points. Any question answered incorrectly gives the other school a chance to steal. All right, schools, prepare for the first strike. Your first question deals with food. Bacon, Gwen, Reed, and Haas are all types of what green food used to make guacamole? Yes, Yasmin. Avocado. Yes, very good. Spelling, meaning a show, celebration, or parade. Spell pageant. Yes, Mauricio. P-A-G-E-A-N-T. Very good. All right, simple machines. Name this force multiplying object. A simple machine often used to move very heavy. Yes, Mauricio. A uh, pulley and lever. Incorrect. Atlantic, name this force multiplying object, a simple machine often used to move very heavy objects whose common examples include a seesaw. It's a lever, just a lever. Schooling, what piece of paper often referred to as a terminal degree usually represents the end of graduate school? Pedro. Diploma. Incorrect, Atlantic. It's your doctorate. Musical notes. What musical note that fills up a whole measure in 2-4 time is always equal to two quarter notes? Yasmin? A half note. Yes, very good. All right, universities. Troy University and Tuskegee University are colleges in what southern state that is also home to Auburn University and a flagship, Raj? Georgia. Incorrect, FAU Mauricio. Alabama. Very good. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the What Am I question brought to you by Edco Awards and Specialty. Here, our contestants are given a clue about something or someone and shown a picture that will slowly reveal itself. So, here goes. This type of Finnish bath traveled the U.S. on tour to celebrate Finland's 100 years of independence. Yes, Raj? Sauna. Sauna is correct. Very good. Here's a little tidbit about a sauna. There are so many saunas in Finland that the entire Finnish population of over 5 million people could sit in a sauna in their country all at once. All right, let's move on to the NFL. What city whose previous NFL team was called the Oilers has Raj? Houston. Yes, very good. All right, actors. The soldier character, John Rambo, has always been played by which actor, Raj? Sylvester Stallone. Yes, very good. Trailblazers, he died in present-day Missouri after helping to build the Wilderness Road into what is now Kentucky. Name this trailblazer who always wore a coonskin cap. Mauricio. Daniel Boone. Yes, very good. All right, Newton. 
Newton's third law says that for every action, there is an equal and opposite, Christian? Reaction? Yes, very good. <laughs> Monarchs, name the British monarch, quoted in the musical Hamilton as saying, if, yes, Raj? King George III. Yes, very good. <laughs> musical pieces, name the type of musical piece generally containing a slow movement sandwiched between two fast movements that features a solo performer playing with an orchestra. It's a concerto. All right, let's move on to Spanish. Oh, there's a horn. That means the end of the first strike round. We do have FAU leading. They have 60 points. Atlantic High has 40 points. Don't go anywhere because we'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages. What's going on, guys? This is Julian Laforte from the Season 1 Championship Team, Westminster Christian. Go Warriors! I'm currently a production coordinator in New York City, and I can't believe it's been 10 years of School Duel. It was such an incredible opportunity for me, and I know that so many other kids have had such an incredible chance to be able to participate in such a unique opportunity. So here's some many more years of School Duel. In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program. Encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships. To team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities. Demonstrate a solid work ethic and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. First round of action ended with FAU leading. They have 60 points. Atlantic High, not too far behind. They have 40 points. Now, before we begin the second round, let's take a minute to meet this week's competitors from each school. Hey everyone, I'm Yasmin, I'm team captain, and I'm a senior at FAU High. Go Owls! Hi everyone, I'm Christian, I'm a sophomore at FAU High. Go Owls! Hi everyone, my name is Mauricio, I'm a senior at FAU High School. Go Owls! Hey guys, I'm Pedro, I'm a senior at FAU High. Go Owls! Hi, I'm Josh, I'm a junior at FAU High. Go Owls! Mal, looking cute after all his makeup. Pedro as well, what a sweetheart. Josh Morning. didn't I'm get his makeup yet, you know. but he's already cute, so it don't matter. Owls came to win. Boom! Hey guys, I'm Raj. I'm a junior and I'm team captain. Go Eagles! Hey guys, I'm Tony. I'm a junior. Go Eagles. I'm Visme. I'm a junior. Go Eagles. Hi, I'm Sorb. I'm a junior. Go Eagles! Hi guys, welcome to my talk show. Um, first question for Raj here. What's your favorite TikTok star? Do you have one? Uh, it's just Raj, that's me. You follow me on TikTok. Right, guys, just, we're here at School Duel. You already know the vibes. Atlantic High School. Yeah, go Eagles! Yeah. Eagles ready! Talons out! And let's hear it for both schools. Okay, now that we know everyone, let's move on to round two, the Joust, presented by Public Supermarkets. Here a player from each school competes head-to-head -head with toss-up questions. 
The winner gets three bonus questions for their school and all questions are worth 10 points. All right, schools, it is time to joust. Yasmin, Raj, come on down. Here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. In Aesop's fable, which animal is killed because it cannot lay golden eggs fast enough? Yes, Raj. The goose. Yes, very good. So we are now with Atlantic. The following bonus questions all deal with naming these other animals in Aesop's fable. Bonus question number one. In one fable, the overconfident hare was beaten in a race by what plotting? Yes, Tony? Tortoise. Yes, very good. <laughs> bonus question number two. In another Aesop fable, this animal deceives the sheep by wearing sheep's clothing. Tony. Wolf. Yes, excellent. <laughs> bonus question number three. This insect watched an ant store food for the winter without storing any himself. Tony. Grasshopper. Yes, excellent. Excellent job. All right, my next two are Mauricio and Visme. Come on down. Yeah. Gentlemen, here's your topic question worth 10 points. Name the group of English people who came to America seeking religious freedom during the reign of King James. Yes, Mauricio. The Pilgrims. Yes, very good. Yeah. We're now with FAU. And the following bonus questions all deal with the Pilgrims. Bonus question number one. Written by the male passengers and signed aboard the ship, name the first, yes, Christian? The, Mayfla the Mayflower Compact. Yes, very good. Yeah. Bonus question number two. The Pilgrims actually landed at Provincetown Harbor in this state. Christian. Rhode Island. Incorrect, we're looking for Massachusetts. Bonus question number three. The Pilgrims were of British ancestry, but moved to this country before their attempt to reach America. Christian. The Netherlands. Very good. Yeah. All right, my next two, Pedro and Sarup, come on down. Yeah. Here's your toss of question worth 10 points. Since 1955, for those living in the United States, tax day has typically fallen on what date? Ah, oh, that's April 15th. Don't go anywhere. I have another question for you. What is the term for the amount of sales revenue left after a business pays the cost? Yes, Pedro? Profit. Yes, very good. All right, FAU, here we go. The following bonus questions all deal with accounting. Bonus question number one. A profitable company is in the black, but a company losing money is in the what color? Christian? The red. Yes. Bonus question number two. Income earned on the sale of real estate illustrates what type of gain? Christian. Capital. Yes. Yeah. Bonus question number three. What adjective describes the tax return filed by a husband and wife together? Christian. Joint. Yes, very good. All right, my last two, Christian and Tony, come on down. It is your turn to joust. Here's your toss of question worth 10 points. Name the location of the U.S. Naval Headquarters for the Pacific Fleet in Hawaii. Yes, Christian. Pearl Harbor. Yes, very good. We're back with FAU. The following bonus questions deal with the U.S. Navy. Bonus question number one. If students at the Air Force Academy in West Point are called cadets, what are students of the Naval Academy called? Yes, Yasmin. Sailors. Incorrect. It's midshipmen. Bonus question number two. In what state does a midshipman attend the U.S. Naval Academy? Christian? Maryland. Yes, very good. And bonus question number three. What kind of vessel in the U.S. Navy are named after fish? Yasmin? Submarines. Yes, very good. There's our buzzer, and that means the end to the doubt. FAU has now pulled away. They have 160 points. Atlantic High has 80 points, but don't go anywhere because we'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages. It must be fate that his cap and gown are the same color he wore for his kindergarten graduation. It's the same rascally smile, that hasn't changed. But he stands there, so sure, so ready to take on the world. He has arrived. It's hard not to resist and push against the door that's closing, but you give in a little, because the future is wide open. From each little moment to every major milestone, Publix, 
proud supporter of education. There were these kids and they were doing this weird thing with their hands and... Well, it's not up to you. I already made my decision. But don't just go through the motions. Embrace them. Take it all in. Breathe, focus, then go. You know, we've been raised to be leaders and be responsible and don't be a follower. And that's exactly what we're doing right now. Coming up on Broward Teen News. We're at West Broward High School. We're here at Cooper City High School. We're at Stoneman Douglas High School. It's Cypress Bay edition of Broward Teen News. Broward Teen News starts now. BTN is South Florida's only teen produced news program, produced by a different Broward High School every month. Broward Teen News, South Florida's student produced news show by teens for teens. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. season of School Duel, where local high schools match wits to see who will be this year's School Duel champion. Now today's game has Florida Atlantic University High competing against Atlantic High. Currently FAU is leading. They have 160 points to Atlantic High's 80 points. It is now time for the rapid action round. And during this round, each school receives an identical category of questions to answer quickly by themselves. And since Atlantic High is trailing, they get to go first while FAU High waits outside the studio for their turn with the same questions. Now today's category is starts with G. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter G. Each question is worth 10 points. And remember, you must answer these quickly or the judge will move you on. So here comes rapid action. Starts with G, let's cue music. Atlantic, let's begin. Plural word often paired with ladies. Raj. Gentlemen. A spherical map of the world. This is me. Globe. Five letter word for a thousand dollars. Tony. Grand. Three letter abbreviation for the Republican party. This is me. GOP. The woodcarver in Pinocchio. Raj. Geronimo. Double mint and juicy fruit, for example. This is me. Gum. Italian equivalent of the English name John. Raj. Giovanni. U.S. president assassinated in 1881. Raj. Garfield. A yucky set of 12 dozen objects. Raj. Gross. Florida native tree, nicknamed the tourist tree because its bark is red and peeling. Say Rob. Gumbo. All right, good job, Atlantic. You got through all of your questions. So big round of applause for Atlantic High. And now with a little TV magic, let's go ahead and bring in their competitors, FAU High. And welcome back, FAU High. Now it's your turn with the same questions. And today's category is starts with G. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter G. Each question is worth 10 points. And remember, you must answer these quickly or the judge will move you on. So let's cue music and begin. Plural word often paired with ladies. Pedro. Good. A spherical map of the world. Mauricio. Globe. Five letter word for $1,000. Mauricio. Grand. Three letter abbreviation for the Republican party. Christian. GOP. 
the woodcarver in Pinocchio. For Pedro. Genoff Pito. Double mint and juicy fruit, for example. Jasmine. Gum. Italian equivalent of the English name John. Christian. Giorno. U.S. president assassinated in 1881. Yasmin. Garfield. A yucky set of 12 dozen objects. Mauricio. Gross. Florida native tree nicknamed the tourist tree because its bark is red and peeling. <laughs> All right, that buzzer means the end of the rapid action round. The only two questions missed by both teams were the woodcarver in Pinocchio, his name is Geppetto, and also Florida native tree nicknamed the tourist tree because its bark is red and peeling. It's the gumbo limbo tree. All right, ladies and gentlemen, currently FIU has 220 points. Atlantic High has 160 points, but don't go anywhere. We're going to take a short break, and then we'll be back for the final showdown to see which school moves on to the quarterfinals of School Duel. <laughs> In 1973, Chick-fil-A founder Truett Cathy created the Leadership Scholarship Program. Encouraging Chick-fil-A restaurant employees to further their education. Since then, Chick-fil-A has awarded more than $28 million in scholarships. To team members who excel in the classroom, serve their communities. Demonstrate a solid work ethic and possess a desire to lead. So we say, thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Truett. It means a lot. Chick-fil-A is the proud corporate partner of the pursuit of higher education. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. We've got a good game going as FAU is holding on to their lead over Atlantic High. Our current scores, 220 to 160. It is now time for the final showdown, and this is our last round. The schools will go against each other again with toss-up questions, but this time they are now worth 20 points. And just a reminder, if a question is answered incorrectly, the other school can steal. This is for a spot in the quarterfinals. It is time for the final showdown. <laughs> First question deals with three digit numbers. What is three fourths of a circle in degrees? Yes, Pedro. 270. The Caribbean. What is the most populous and capital city of the Bahamas? Yes, Mauricio. Nassau. The Senate. What is the total number of votes controlled in the US Senate by the four smallest states and the five largest states? This is me. 18. Film. Also called intervalometer shooting, what common film technique is used to speed up the setting of the sun or blooming of a flower? Mauricio. Time lapse. Baseball. Three U.S. presidents share what first name with legendary baseball player Babe Ruth? Raj. Uh, George. Tennis. The French Open is the only Grand Slam tennis tournament played on what slope? Yes, Vizme? Clay. Payments. According to a 1903 treaty, the U.S. must pay Cuba an annual rent of $2,000 in gold for the use of what military facility, Visme? Guantanamo Bay. Anti-discrimination. Give the two-word term for the federal legislation prohibiting discrimination against women and providing for more female. Yes, Christian? Title IX. Science. Besides bells, what Nobel Prize winning scientists also use tuning forks and metronomes to make dogs drool? Raj. Have love. Restaurants. In the restaurant business, what number does the kitchen assign to an item that they run out of? Tony. 86. The body. How many chambers does the heart have? Yasmin. Four. 
philosophers. What ancient philosopher was executed for corrupting the young? Yes, Christian? Socrates. Fast math. What is 37 times 27? Bismay. 999. U.S. cities. What Kentucky city enters the national spotlight each year on the first Saturday of May? Bismay. <laughs> FAU, what Kentucky city enters the national spotlight each year on the first? Yes, Pedro? Frankfurt. Incorrect. We're looking for Louisville. Abbreviations, slightly more definitive than TTYL. What does the internet abbreviation TTYS stand for, Mauricio? Talk to you soon. Medicine, traditionally aged in caves, blue cheese is made from the same mold spores that produce what antibiotic? Raj? Penicillin. Presidents, who served during World War II and right before Truman, Yasmin? Franklin D. Roosevelt. Measurements, a measure for water efficiency, the abbreviation GPF is short for what toilet related statistic, Yasmin? Gallon per flush. Africa, discovered by the British in 1858, what massive African lake was named after the, yes Raj? Lake Chad. Incorrect, FAU, yes Christian? Lake Victoria. Grammar. Type of sentence that asks a question. Raj. Interrogative. Novels. In the middle of this novel, oh, there's my buzzer, and that sound brings an end to the second round school duel game. As FAU held on to their lead, they are ending with a score of 420 points. Atlantic High is ending with a score of 340. Now this win, FAU, is putting you into the quarterfinals, so congratulations. Everyone. This also brings an end to the South Florida Chick-fil-A challenge and today's winner is, you know I like my drum roll, Raj. Congratulations, Raj. Congratulations on your South Florida Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year. And at this time, we'd like to thank all of our sponsors for making School Duel possible and you at home for watching. Now don't forget to check out our website at schoolduel.tv where you can find out more about the schools involved and you can even watch past shows. And please remember to use hashtag School Duel to contact us through social media. And most importantly, make sure that you tune in next week to School Duel Thursday at 8 p.m. as Wellington High takes on Park Vista High in another great second round match. Goodbye, everyone. School Duel was brought to you by Chick-fil-A South Florida and Bright Star Credit Union.